like a really flawless base that's going to stay oil free all day but you still get that dewy look if you know what I mean so I know a lot of people struggle I know back in the day when I had extremely oily skin I would have to just make sure my face is all matte 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 and whenever I tried to incorporate some dewiness into it because maybe I was like maybe I want to be a little bit more dewy like dewy is so in right now with all the strobing and stuff like that and like dewy skin is just it's just on trend right now and sometimes for I know the oily skin gals you want to like incorporate some dewiness into your skin without looking shiny so oily and like shiny and dewy it's two separate different things so I'm going to show you how you can make your skin look completely matte and like shine free without any of your oils sort of coming through but still having that healthy dewy glow so if you'd like to see how to achieve that then please keep watching so to get straight into it I've already done like my basic skincare so I've moisturized and all that sort of stuff um, so to start off with I think the best way to keep your oils at bay is going in with like a prepping spray. So the spray that's really used to help me is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This one is awesome for really oily skin. So with this one, it is a makeup finishing spray, but it also really, really, really helps if you put it on before your foundation. Because if you put it on before everything else, it will sort of because it's directly on your skin it will help suck up those oils and stuff like that so i'm going to start off with a, a spritz of that just all over my face and focus this on the areas um, if you get an oilier t-zone then sort of focus it on the t-zone the most so the second step is primer of course um, this is by far the best primer for oily skin if you want to invest in a good primer that actually works, um, I recommend going and purchasing the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I've got the little travel size one because I don't use this as much anymore because my skin is more onto the dry side. But this literally saved my life so many times when I was very oily. It's the best primer for oily skin by far that I've ever tried. So like go into Mecca, get yourself a sample, they'll give you out little samples, try it for yourself. You can get like one of these little travel size ones to start off with if you like, if you don't feel like spending that much money. And then you can go on to the bigger sizes and the even bigger ones. So I'm just going to apply some of that. I just apply like two little pumps just like that on my hands and rub it all over my face. And again, sort of focusing on the areas that you get the most oily. For most people, that is the T-zone area. So this makes your skin feel like absolute heaven. Like sometimes I wish I was still oily so I could just wear this all the time. Oh, and by the way, I apologise about my hair. It looks a bit ratty today because I didn't wash my hair. And I ran out of dry shampoo, so I put in like this weird powdery stuff and it literally just put all these like bits of white in my hair and it looks like I have really bad dandruff but I swear I don't <laughs> it looks kind of gross and like I tried to like pick all of it out but you can still kind of see it so I very much apologize about that but today is just one of them one of them bad hair days <laughs> right so now that I've got my primer on I'm going to go in with foundation now this is the part I think where a lot of people go wrong because I think if I have oily skin, I have to use a matte foundation. No, you do not. My trick is, if you have a matte foundation, um, a really good thing is to add a liquid illuminator into it. This one in particular is my favourite at the moment. It's the Josie Merrin Argan Illuminizer. So that's what it looks like there. It is just such a pretty um, liquid illuminizer. You can use it as an actual like highlighter to sort of put on your face. Or my favourite way to use it is to mix it in with my foundation. And that's not going to make your skin look oily or anything because you're not putting like an oil into your foundation. You're just putting 
a liquid illuminizer in there to make your skin look more dewy. So, really good foundation I find to help control the oils is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I've been really actually loving this at the moment. It's oil free and it's sort of it's got like a natural finish it's not matte but it's not dewy so it's kind of in between and it's really really nice but yeah it is oil free so it's great um, for oily people it doesn't clog your pores and it's suitable for sensitive skin and it's really it's a really really nice foundation from the drugstore and it's very very affordable so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to grab my little mixing palette and I'm just going to put bit of that foundation on there so I kind of put like that much on there and then I put next to it you don't want to put too much so I don't know if you can see the difference but I literally just put a tiny little squirt of that illuminizer on the top and oh hey there I am <laughs> and the rest is foundation so you don't need to put much at all and then I'm just going in with just a flat top brush and mixing those in together and applying that to my face. Now, depending on how much coverage you like or need um, to yourself, you might not want one little pump. It's completely up to you. Now that my foundation's on, I like to go in with my Real Techniques little sponge and just dab over everything. And this will just help everything settle down into the skin and it will also help with the dewiness. So you can sort of see my skin's got like a natural glow to it. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's got like a nice natural glow. But none of the oils are going to come through from the setting spray that we put on at the start and the primer. But you're still going to get that nice glowy look to the skin. I apologise if you can hear rain because it just started raining, of course. But yeah, I put no product on this. I'm just dabbing it over damp just to help everything settle in. Right, now that that's all on, before we powder, I'm just gonna grab a little more of this Illuminizer and I'm just going to put it with my finger just on the tops of my cheekbones up here. Cause you don't wanna be putting that over powders cause you can't do powder on powder. And then I'm just gonna grab my damp sponge and just blend that in really nicely stuff is so beautiful a good drugstore one is the Revlon skin lights um, they're really really nice and that's the same sort of thing I'm just gonna put that on the other side the best thing about the liquid ones is they don't look like you've got a whole bunch of highlighter on your cheeks it just looks like you are glowing but uh, if you are very oily I clear away from the t-zone um, because that's usually where people get oily and you don't want that to look oily. And yeah, now that that's on my cheeks, I'm going to powder my face. I think in my opinion, powder doesn't really affect your like skin. Like I know a lot of people are like, oh, what powder do I use to make my skin matte? Maybe the powder that you use like to an extent will help. But in my experience, any powder has done the same thing. As long as the prep of the skin is good, then the powder is fine. But my favorite powders is the MAC Studio Fix. I'm in the shade NC30. And you can tell it's been very much loved. And I just like to dust a very, very small amount over my face so just on the forehead down the t-zone this is a must if you're oily you probably already know and just up here but i'm just going to avoid that area that i highlighted here and then to set that the areas that i highlighted i'm just going in with my elf golden bronzer that's what it looks like there it's just like a nice golden highlighted bronzy shade it's in the shade Golden. I'm not sure if there's more than one. And I sort of just swirl my brush in it like that. And I'm just going to set that highlight with that. I like this because it's not too intense of a highlight. Um, but it's just good to set down that 
this liquid highlight. And then last but not least, I'm going to grab the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray again. And I'm just going to set everything in place and spritz my whole face. And that, guys, is how easy it is. It's all it takes. It's only a few little steps, but you still get like that nice luminous um, glow to the skin. It's still matte, but with just a glow to it. Like you can see, my skin doesn't look oily at all. It just looks matte and flawless, but just with a bit of glow coming through and like on the cheekbones. It looks really nice and healthy. And it's that easy guys, you just got to know which products to use and how to use them. Um, a lot of these are like multi-purpose as well. So yeah, I really hope you all learned something from this. I hope that you learned a couple of tips and tricks and um, if you try it out for yourself, let me know how you go. I really hope it works. As I said, it worked really, really well for me. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!